Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Labuti, and I'm here to answer this autism question. My child has some really odd behaviors. Why does he do that? Now, you could fill in the blank here. He spins himself round and round. He spins the plate. Um, he drops things over and over. He twiddles a, a string. So it's really important. Okay, odd behaviors are pretty um, disconcerting for parents because we have this level of if I don't stop the behavior, he's going to be stuck like that forever. At least that's what my, me and my family used to think um, because we just didn't understand what was going on. So I am going to tell you why children are doing what they're doing. Maybe not so much why, but why it's important to understand what they're doing from a different perspective. And I'm going to give you a story, like I always do, about my own child. Now, one night, my other two kids were already upstairs in bed, and it was um, my autistic son that was downstairs, and he had this uh, set called Cube Maze, and it's these uh, blocks of plastic pieces um, where marbles can run through. So it's like a marble run, and there's white pieces and yellow pieces and green pieces and blue pieces, and you put them all together and you do these elaborate designs and you have a marble run. Now, he had built a lot of elaborate designs with this marble run, but on this particular night, he was in the corner and he was just dropping, like I, I was just sort of watching him with curiosity, and he was dropping the blue one over and over, and then he would set it aside, and then he'd drop a green one over and over, he'd get really close to the counter to listen. And so I went up to him and I said, what are you doing? What do you hear? And immediately he picked up the blue one and he said, C. And then he picked up a green one and he said, D. And I went, wow, that's really cool. He was hearing the musical notes in what he was dropping. Okay, I have no idea how he can do that, but I that was really profound to me because here's this really odd behavior. And had I just said, you know, freaked out and was like, oh, that's so autistic or just, you know, come on, let's go to bed and didn't stop to actually um, try to understand what was going on, I would have missed a really big opportunity, an opportunity to understand his perspective on the world. Okay, he hears and see things that we don't to um, build a, some trust, like it's okay what you're doing. I'm here to try to understand your world. So, you know, engaging with him and trying to understand what was going on and um, really opening up the possibility of some different abilities in our children, right? My son has uncanny hearing. He can hear things that we can't hear. So the point is this, when a child has odd behaviors, seek to understand what they're doing. Try to understand it because you'll open yourself up to a trusting relationship. You'll open yourself up to um, some special abilities that your child might have. And, um, you know, you'll get, you'll go so much farther for getting the connection that we all want with our children than if you just dismiss behaviors as aberrant and not good and, um, you know, they shouldn't do that. So I hope the answer to that question helps. Um, I'm a huge fan of understanding autism from their perspective because I think these beautiful beings have so much to offer us. They are wired differently, but that's a good thing. We have to work on the challenges so they can they can get on in this world and be um, embraced and accepted. So if you're interested in joining a group of growing people that are doing just that, jump on over to my website, andrealabuti.com and um, join the tribe. We're doing some great work and we're supporting each other and we are paving the way for our artistic, our autistic uh, children and friends and family to be in this world. Thank you.